Okay, today I'm going to show you how important it is to use some inside English. We're going to be making sure that we're using English toward our object ball's pocket so that we can avoid running into balls sometime. Kind of like that. We held the spin and now we have a good shot on that eight ball. And most of our eight ball shots today are just going to have kind of stop shots like that. And here's going to be a good example. Instead of that cue ball rolling up toward the side pocket, we're going to hold it with that inside English and let it just run straight back. Kind of like the first shot that we did, but this is a shorter version. And now we have a good line on that eight ball. A little bit of low on there makes that cue ball kind of roll backwards. And now when we put inside English, we're going to get some extra spin. Instead of going back one rail, we're going to come around those two rails to avoid a scratch in that bottom corner. And then our stop or draw shot just to kind of secure that cue ball from rolling wild. So here's a good challenge right here and it's good to have in your tool bag be able to come around three to four rails using the inside bottom English that helps get around that table. What do you think I used right there? And then here's a good one to practice. Make sure that you're cutting that ball into the side pocket. To keep that cue ball so it's secure on that rail right there. And all we did is held inside English and then we use a stun shot right there. And then here is where we're going to hold inside English. You can see the line of that ball is going to hit the rail there, but actually I aimed off and holding the inside English reduced the angle of my target ball that I shot. And that gave us the gap to play the stop shot right there. And then here's a little fun one for you. Still using the inside English and played a little care and make that nine ball in the end. If you like what you saw and think you can learn more from me, hit subscribe. Thank you.